Welcome, welcome back guys, it's your boy Serrano back with another video. Let me show you a demonstration of how to make your phone's performance a lot quicker than it already is now. You'll be able to take advantage of this quick tip that will actually put your device in a higher capacity of speed and give it a tune up at the same time. You don't have to root your device to do it. And you don't have to worry about messing it up. Just um, follow the instructions here in this video. And your phone will be perfectly fine. It will be much quicker, much faster. And you'll be able to take advantage of the high speed that it does have to offer you. So um, I'll check you guys out in the next phase of this video. Okay, so once we got into the settings option, we basically are um, going to look for the option on our screen, which tells us, um, let me see, it's going to be in the about phone. So you're going to go to about phone and you're going to look for, um, in that one it will be software info you'll go into and you'll click the build number continuously until you get the developer option right there if you didn't see that let me do it again so you could actually see my phone already is a, is a developer I'm in that stage already and um, on this device all I'd have to do is go into the build number as well and you can see it says no need you're already a developer so after you do that you're gonna go back a step let me show you guys how to get there Alright, so this one says developer options. We're going to go there. And then this one, you have to go to advanced. Um, in, the, in the screen before here, we click advanced. And then it will give you the ability to go to the developer options. Alright, so on both screens, it's going to take us to the developer options. And you could see the developer options on the top toggle on the right hand side is on on both screens. The only thing that you actually want to activate in this screen is keep scrolling down till you get to the point right there where it says um, window animation scale. Then you'll you'll do it on the same screen right here, and it'll say it'll say the same thing: window animation scale. Um, window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. All three of those options I've actually put on the 0.5x setting. As you could see, they're both on the 0.5x setting. Um, before that, they were actually, when I had it, on its um, default state, it was on the 1x setting for all three um, options here. So what you want to do is you want to um, take it off of the 1x setting that it was on by default and put it on the 0.5x setting. And then I'll be able to show you how quick the screen works right after this. So I actually put both devices back on the animation scale and the, um, all, all three of them, the window, the transition, and the animator, as you can see, are all back to the 1x, the 1x animation scale. And um, what that simply means is that it's at its default state. Let me show you exactly how the phone performs at the default state. Okay, so now I have my PPTV, and I'm going to show you how the, how the screen will move on the default state right here. As you can see, it's moving pretty, pretty normal. You can't really tell, um, you know, that, that, that it's going slow right here.
Now let's do some um, multitasking here. So there, there was a little pause in that last window. There was a pause right there. Uh, sort of a pause there. Let's see. Yeah, there was a, a sort of a lag right there, as you could see. Um, that one lagged a lot, as you could see. Here's a game, I didn't, so it's gonna take me to the game, and that that took a while to load. Um, we'll go back. All right, let's test this one out. First, we'll start at the um, the main screen. As you can see, this one absolutely has no lag whatsoever because of the Nougat update. While this phone is on the 5.1 Android, so that that's going to make a big difference in the performance of the phones. As you can see, the Nougat has absolutely no up, um, no delay and no lag. And the Stylo Plus 2 Plus doesn't really have lag at all. If you notice, um, it'll it'll never really do a hiccup on this test. You'll you'll see it just actually smoothly go from screen to screen. The thing about the Stylo 2 Plus is that um, it doesn't really have good great ROM because and what I, one thing I noticed is that it it can't keep that many apps inside of the um recent apps menu for that long a time so you actually have to like you actually have to like go back into the um the feature that of the app right here from the app tray to actually get it to launch again inside of your most recent apps alright so that should be enough apps that open for the test here Uh, absolutely no lag whatsoever. It's it, it's it's gonna actually load, but it's not gonna lag with the Stylo 2 Plus, and you won't experience any 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 real lag. But you could actually speed this phone up a bit, so I'll be able to actually share that on share that with you guys on how to do that, how to speed up your device. Uh, I opened that one like three times because basically the there's not really that many apps that this um this one has three gigs and this has two gigs of RAM so this one stores a lot more apps I noticed and I'll, it'll have the activity that I actually had for, for for like a month or three a month or two ago and it goes way back. This one I keep pressing the same um, app because it only ha keeps open about five apps at a time. Okay, so now let's change the scale to point, um, point 0.5x on all three and on both phones. So it's it's going to be transition window and animator on, on both phones. Alright, so one thing you're going to notice with this device is it's going to actually be much quicker when you do, when you do those, those options there that I just showed you. It's going to be much quicker and um, the animation's faster, much faster. With this device, it just moves even faster than it was before. 
um, which is a great thing because it's going to basically mimic the speed of the iPhone or like anything like that because that what one thing that the iPhone is known for is a lightning fast um, processor so one thing you're going to notice is that when you do those steps that, that I just showed you how to get to and how to get, how to make your phone faster one thing you're going to notice is that the the screen the screen performance is going to be quicker sort of like the iPhone and um the reaction time is quicker it it doesn't have any um it doesn't hiccup it doesn't it doesn't have to think anymore what it is is that the uh it's just moving whatever you do it does same thing with this one it's it's it doesn't really hiccup at all but one thing you'll notice is that it's going to be even more quicker on the app tray much quicker it's going to be lightning quick you won't even be able to whatever your finger does it does on the stylo 2 plus so again here is the the test for the windows you'll see that the stylo 2 plus windows launch way quicker way quicker than they ever did before and um you'll have actually lightning quick um screen to screen performance and um after i did this to my phone i didn't want to go back because what it is is that you're going to experience a better um screen to screen time from from app to app and that means that you'll actually save time when you're actually um, going from your screen to screen performance so um, that, that's pretty much what it is right there as you can see um, the, the screens launch way quicker than they did bef when, when, when before I changed the animation the screen is it, just it jumps out as soon as I touch it in this in the snap of a finger it doesn't really have to like think anymore like it did before um, you might get like a second of time but nothing like um, before when it when it took forever to launch there you can see the Google Plus launched way quicker and so I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful um, that your your phone will actually have a faster screen and a faster processing because of the developer options that the Android devices have and um, the capacity and the ability to do. So um, follow those steps that I showed you in this video of how to make your processor on your phone kind of mimic the iPhone performance because we all know that the iPhone is known for having a, a super quick screen time when it comes to um, screen to screen um, movement and um, snappiness so basically that's what you're gonna do and what you're gonna get in this video I hope you guys found it helpful if you did click that like button down below and I'll catch you guys on the next video it's your boy Serrano and have a great night Peace.